Uh, Malawi has one of the highest maternal mortality rates uh, in the world, in the sense that we are talking of uh, 807 women die per 100,000 live births per year. We are like the fourth highest in the world. And uh, uh, one of the major causes of this uh, high maternal mortality rate is that we do not have enough skilled workers, nurses and midwives on the ground in the rural, rural areas where the majority poor women live. We have not trained over time enough midwives to deal with this problem. So you find that one midwife is on duty 24 hours in the health centers. She gets tired, sometimes she gets sick, and then the health center is closed. If these women come back you know, to the uh, clinic, they find nobody. Or if she is there, she's exhausted because she's been working alone for long, long periods. Sometimes it's because of lack of resources. We don't, we don't have enough equipment. We don't have enough drugs. We don't have enough even protective wear. So there are many other problems. Of course, coupled with that is the burden of disease, HIV and AIDS, as you're aware. In Malawi, 25% of the pregnant women are HIV positive, and therefore that in itself contributes to the high maternal mortality rate. Malaria, tuberculosis, and other major diseases that affect women. Anemia, you know, because the majority who die are the poor women. Well, many of the skilled workers, the nurses and midwives, have left for Europe, Australia, US, and many other rich countries in the north. These are countries who can afford to train their own, but they just do not have their own numbers, so they rely on our, our skilled workers from the south. And because they have more money, they are rich, they have more power, they can afford to pay them. So our nurses leave our countries to go to the north. The answer there is, as a world, we know that we are short of um, close to four million skilled workers. Let's put in place um, a program to train as many skilled workers, including nurses and midwives, uh, for the whole world. So the North must, must, must take responsibility to train their own healthcare workers. While the South needs a lot of support, because we are talking of poor countries, developing countries, they cannot manage on their own. We need the, the, the Northern countries, the rich countries, G8, for example, to take this issue of uh, high maternal mortality rate as a very crucial and as a priority to discuss this even as they meet in, in June to put resources on the table to support the poor countries so that we can train as many as we can and beyond that the resources for care um, you know uh, space where mothers can go and deliver uh, provision of other services including treatments of HIV and AIDS, TB, malaria, and other diseases. So my trip is actually to come and share uh, the experiences, the stories, the difficulties. But also we have some good stories that something is happening because, as I mentioned, that high maternal mortality rate, it wasn't like that. Uh, years back, five years ago, we were over a thousand per hundred thousand. We are, we have reduced. So something good is coming up. Uh, the trainings, we, we had fewer programs. Now we have a lot more programs. The donors, the, the rich countries have uh, taken a step to support, but what we are saying is we need more. It's not enough. But also because we continue to lose many uh, from our countries to, 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 to the north, something must be done. To, uh, to, to, to increase support so our healthcare workers can stay in our countries and save lives of our own people. While, of course, we are taking steps to provide trainings uh, for you know, provision of uh, adequate skilled workers for the whole world, not just for the poor countries, but the whole world requires a lot more skilled workers that way we are going to do a lot more and save as many lives as we can.